My name is Nika Slazo, and welcome to another episode of Weird News. Today we're going to take a trip down to Kentucky, Frankfort, Kentucky to be exact. We're apparently in Kentucky, you know, Kentucky, they're real strict about who gets into office in Kentucky, you know. They have an oath you have to take that, you know, your normal oath, and, and you have to take an oath that you have never participated in a duel with deadly weapons. Because, you know, for those of you who didn't know this, you know, Kentucky's just full of people who are like, Push, I challenge you to a duel! And they just, you know, that, that's kind of a social norm there. And so, and also these politicians say they can't do their duels. So, of course, they want to remove this oath because it's obviously fairly silly and outdated by far. But really, what's the harm? Who actually is going to get into a deadly duel with deadly weapons? I mean, really, come on. Next up, also from Kentucky, but from Ellisburg, Kentucky, we have drunkenness taking a stand for comedy once again. A drunk man decided, hmm, what should I do today? Should I just sit around and be wasted? No. I'm going to get a gun, holster it on, hop on my horse, and ride to church. That seems like a good idea, this man might have thought. So he goes, he's riding, he gets to the church. He's obviously drunk on his horse or with a gun, and he's trying to bust into the church. And so all these church members are coming, they're trying to stop him, trying to slow him down. Eventually they, they take away his gun. And then they find out he's got enough. He's got a rifle on his horse too. He's not just not just a pistol. He's got this rifle too. So they finally take that away and, and get him home. And later he's arrested for intoxication. So nobody was hurt in the incident. It just you still have the hilarity of a drunk man riding a horse with a whole gun. Maybe he was trying to be a cowboy. I don't know. That's just the news. For the last story today, we have an incident that happened to Samantha Lynn Fraser in. Not Kentucky this time, but in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Samantha was going to a bar, you know, just a normal day, then all of a sudden, BAM! She's shot, and she feels the blood. But, wait, she's okay, because she's so fat that the bullet just went into her, her side, under her fat. She's not even hurt. I quote, she said, My love handle saved my life. She's also quoted saying, that she originally had plans to lose weight, but now is going to get as big as she can if it might stop a bullet. So, there you have it. Being obese can save your life in extreme situations, apparently. So maybe all those scientists are wrong. Alright, well thank you for watching this episode of Weird News, and tune in next time for more.